anything binding, but it's something that justifies the money we have in reserve. And and as I said, we, we, we're looking at expending a lot of unnecessary money and unnecessary time by Anthony, from my opinion. I'm not speaking for you, Anthony, but that's that's my opinion. It certainly override me. And that's where I, as a board member, I'm concerned. I'm happy to discuss, discuss it right now, but, but let's not keep throwing things at the library or the library staff that are in interfering with their ability to make the library as best of an experience as it can be for its patrons. And that's as a board member what I believe I should be doing, is, is being fiscally responsible. I'm a fiscal conservative, but at the same time not getting in the way. I want to, I want to, have, I want, I want to get in the way. I want to support what's going on here and question things when, when, when things don't seem right. I appreciate that. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll call. Mm -hmm. well, we need a second. Oh, we One need a second. second. I'll second just in okay. case. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Trustee Riddle? No. I, I'm sorry. I don't resolve. I know. Okay. Trustee Johnson? No. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee Barshus? Yes. Okay. So the next is. Uh, the village discussion regarding, regarding the storm, stormwater sewage usage fee, Trustee Barshis attended and will summarize it. And in the interim, Anthony, Trustee Austin, I mean, President, Director, <laughs> Director Austin <laughs> sent us all a summary of the presentation that was given at the village board. So, Jan? Yep. Okay, this is a very interesting time in Wilmet. Um, there are other villages that have attempted to manage stormwater fees and collect money to pay for stormwater improvements. That has not yet happened specifically here at the village. The purpose of the meeting uh, that I went to last week was to compare the two funding proposals for stormwater mitigation in Wilmette. Now, this is not binding. This is up still for discussion, and there will be a lot of it because they haven't had any public meetings about this yet. Um, and when it comes to money, people will show up. <laughs> um, the consultant's report uh, had one proposal, and that was to, in the first proposal was to increase the sewer fee to cover costs over the next three years. Now, this is going to be at least a three-year bump when they decide what they're going to do. Um, proposal two charges the stormwater fee separately, and that was the one that they most uh, thought would be advisory um, for all residential and non-residential properties. So that means your home, my home, our homes and the library the and conference. the park district and the board of education primarily. Uh, keeping in mind, well, I'll come to that later, okay. Um, all residential, non-residential, the consultants, uh, and their name is Raftelis, are in this business, have done other consulting jobs the same way to determine and help people with stormwater problems. Uh, they weighed the pros and cons of both proposals and explained the costs to residents, commercial property owners, and public agencies for each proposal. Their recommendation was for an annual storm water fee for the next three years, increasing each year. Uh, there will be a need for more public meetings to consider this recommendation, and they realized that. So, that will be put uh, to the board to decide. Whatever is decided, it's going to be a lot of money, either way. A lot of money that we're going to pay, uh, a lot of money that individuals are going to pay. Uh, and so it will be pretty controversial. The cost of the library alone is a little over 4000 uh, the first year and increasing each year. The cheaper, it's, this is cheaper than increasing a sewer fee, which was also mentioned. 
it, the consultants felt that it was better to keep the stormwater fees separate and not mix it up with other things, and that makes less accounting problems, too. And Jan, it's 4000 per year? Yes. In, in addition to what we currently pay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So a $4,000 increase for just the library. The hit on the park district is the major. Yeah. Um, yes, exactly. Um, the issue... What is the cost of the park district? The park district, that was huge. It's um, six figures, as I recall. Yeah, yes. it's I a lot. It. It's, it's a lot of money. Is yeah. green space, like, that pays, too? Well, the, basically, it's... It's a land area formula, and you pay based on the amount of space that you occupy with your property. And the park district, obviously, yeah. has a lot of space. And so they get hit very hard. Schools get hit they substantially hit, yeah. as well. We get a very small bill Residence. in that regard because we have a small footprint. Oh, the library. Does. The library. Yeah. And Residentially, we'll each get billed for this as well. But the big cost <clears throat> is the village imposing substantial added cost for schools and the parks, mm -hmm. which is uh, going to be a subject of considerable debate. You know, one only question for me. Are they contemplating a flat fee no matter what, or are they contemplating grass pays less than permeable pavers, I don't know, might have some of those, pays less than asphalt and buildings. Yeah, there's not uh, been a <coughs> lot of discussion about how something like that would work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but those formulas generally operate on non-permeable square footage right. as the primary, as the driving. The right. Driver. So the problem don't. is how do you determine permeable and right. non-permeable? So, for example, if you have a structure that's non-permeable. Right. If you have asphalt or concrete, that's non-permeable. But the specifics of the formula are still in the guessing stage. Right. They're not. They're not laid out in detail. But in that that, detail I think yet. that's pretty close to what's going to happen. Actually, um, some of the uh, attendant issues that I think are things that certainly are going to have to be talked about. One is that there is really not an incentive for lessening your environmental footprint on your property. You can do it if you want to, but it's not something that's going to get you a discount. And part of the, part of the reason for that is that it would cost an awful lot of money to put that in force and then have people checking it. Oh. So they would need to hire more people at the village. Um, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be done. The second thing is that this is done through aerial photographs, so I assume a drone. How does an aerial photograph look at permeable pavers? We, d we don't know that. We haven't seen the photos, so we don't know how different things like permeable pavers or a garden, a rain garden, how are you going to you know, discriminate that from every other ounce of grass that's growing or something like that on somebody's property? So I don't think they'll go that way, but it's also up to us to, um, when the village really gets going on this, to be sure that they address something like that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to pay much more. The other thing that you have to keep in mind through this whole thing, even if we reduce what the library has to pay, it'll be made up somewhere. Guess where? Our taxes? Our bill. Homeowners. Yeah. Sure. Well, they're going to pay whatever it costs. if. If we have to pay an extra $4,000 a year, right. we'll budget for it. If the park districts have to pay $150,000 to $200,000, they're going to have to collect that money from residents and users somehow. Right. So the residents are going to pay regardless, whether it's in their tax bill right. 
and a major portion of it will be yes, for sure, mm -hmm. or whether it's an added cost that that is in their tax bill through each of the the uh, units of government. So, mm -hmm. you know, the, the there isn't any doubt that this is going to be controversial, and there isn't any doubt that 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 they're going to need a lot of money to address these flood control issues. Um, they haven't found a magic bullet for how to solve these. There isn't one. Now, what I don't know is whether this includes the money that they're spending on all the tanks, which it may. You know, that may be a part of it. And that has to be a huge expenditure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there is an amount out there, I don't know what it is, but there is an amount out there that they're, budget, they're trying to budget for. So whatever that amount is, it's going to come out of everybody's pockets. And from the way I look at it, it almost looks like a double hit. If we're paying for the library, the library's portion, we're also paying for our portion, uh, you know, and it goes on from that. So this is nothing in stone. It's going to be important to go to meetings uh, when they have them. They're going to look at uh, what Downers Grove does, mm. which uh, has been mentioned as kind of the uh, stormwater solution. Uh, and they've had some program going for the last four or five years, which seems to have been successful. So it's, as I said, it's not written in stone. They have a lot of more research to do themselves. Anything we can do with research that would benefit us, I think would be a good thing. For instance, what do you mean by that from the library standpoint? Well, from the library standpoint, well, just looking at the photo that would be taken of the library. I mean, I, it's in the packet, but it's... They had colored zones that they were going to charge yes. higher rates, mm -hmm. yellow, red, yeah. and green. I couldn't figure out because I couldn't blow it up. Now, the homes are, there are three tiers. If you have, and I... Yeah, like by, by bedroom or yeah if you have less than no if you have less than 3,000 feet oh. so it's pretty simple simplified oh, the that's footage. one tier if you have uh, 3,000 to 4,800 I think it's that's an eight which seems to that's the middle tier it seems to me like a really large <laughs> that's large. middle I mean if if I had a home that was 3,000 feet and I knew that I was paying the same thing as somebody with 4,800 feet. I would not be happy. Right. So. Well, I think that those are those are uh, are based on the non-permeable spaces on your property. That includes driveway, garage, um, and residence. It's right. not but all you're still just the interior about two different space. Sizes right. Homes, right. So it's you know. Right. So it's, it's almost like lot size versus versus. Uh, it, that's a fig That's yeah. a major function of yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. And then the third tier is more than 40, more than the 4,800 feet, and goes, however, you know, high. So it's it's going to be controversial. Um, we certainly want to protect the library, and we want to protect our own finances as well as best we can. But this is something that's going to be done and has to be done in order to satisfy people's. Problems. I think the least expensive plan they chose was in the range of 50 to 60 million dollars. Is there a timetable for when this would start, or is it still? It would start in 2020. Okay. And it would go for at least, it would start for three years, but you know. The construction of it would be a three year period until completion? Um, at least. At least, but the money collected would be at least at the start for a three-year period. Yeah. And remember, they didn't choose the top-of-the-line plan. They chose oh, the right least yeah. of the three plans that were in front of them. So there's still plenty more that they could say needs to be done. Mm -hmm. This this could go on for longer than three years. It certainly could. There are other, a couple of other issues. One is that I think it's going to be very important for them to be totally transparent about how this money is being spent and when it's being spent. And um, to recognize the impact that that could have on middle income people who have smaller homes, 
but maybe don't have the finances that somebody with a larger home has, and they're not, nobody's expecting this, and it's going to be significant for all of us. So that, that could be a problem. Um, and the fact that the agencies like the library and the park district and all are going to be supported by this is good, but we have to pay that tax as well as we'll have to pay our own. So it's a, it's a huge, huge So concern. is it more effective that the yeah, library yeah, go to the meetings or, because I know you had suggested a resolution, but is it too early for a resolution? I think it's good to have a library representative at, at the meetings. Mm -hmm. And I, I would think that the next meeting would be more uh, open as to how they would actually collect the fees. I think they'll make that determination pretty soon, uh, how the fees are calculated, whether those pictures can actually show if somebody has done something. And if, we, if you can't go to the village and say, I have a rain garden, and they look at the picture and they can't tell, then one of the biggest